All right, guys, welcome, welcome. So, uh, this is not going to be my traditional episode. As you guys know, this is not a live stream. This is a video that I'm recording right now because uh, I'm currently not home. Uh, so, you guys will be watching this in the future, which is kind of weird. Talking in uh, like the past tense. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be recording this episode today um, just to kind of give you guys something to watch. There was, I, I, But I don't want to play the story. We're going to save that for when I get back um, and we continue our full playthrough. But what I wanted this to be is uh, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. I wanted to test out, get some more of those NPC PD missions grinded out so we can make some more money. And I'm also trying to find another part of my build. Now, as you guys know, I've been running the... Uh, I'll show you right here in my inventory. I've been running this revolver, which I absolutely love. I adore this weapon. Um, one shot headshots, clean, quiet. It's suppressed. It's 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 amazing. We got our punk knife here, which allows me to zip around super quick, poisoning people. I get the silent knife throw. Um, really, really helps with my stealth ninja build. Um, but now what I'm going to try is um, this gun here, the Fenrir. Now, this gun is all about, like rate of fire um and it has thermal damage crit damage um, i'm gonna try this out uh because right now when i get into the shit or if like hit stuff as the fan i can no longer rely on stealth generally i bust out my mantis blades and i just start slicing everybody up but i wanted to have like a ranged option also so generally i was gonna uh, uh, my I was reserving this third weapon slot for a sniper rifle, but we haven't been able to get one that I can suppress. Um, so we're going to test out this submachine gun, just kind of try to see how how it is. Uh, I got to put some points into a uh, submachine gun at or assault, and uh, but we got we to farm up some points before I could do that. I got one point available. I was going to try to increase the damage. Let me see if there's a damage. Increase rifle and damage right there. By 10% while aiming. And then we need to get this one too. But three points. Um, try to see if I have anything that I could get rid of that I don't really use. Yeah, you know, like this we can get rid of. That doesn't matter. Trying to get a couple extra points that we could throw into um, into our guns here. So it's this one here. We'll just go ahead and get that extra damage. That's 10% more damage there and 10%. So that's 20% more damage outright. And then this will be another perk we'll get. But uh, we're going to test out the sub anyways and just even see how I like it. Now, there was an NCPD mission next close by. Now, before, I was actually kind of blowing through these NCPD missions quite fast, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't even paying attention to what they were, what I was doing in them. Um, but come to find out, some of these NCPD missions actually have little, um, little stories connected to them. So I'm going to kind of pay attention to them a little bit more. I got to get rid of that quest. I don't even know why I'm tracking that. Set that going, doesn't matter. But yeah, I've been really, really enjoying this assassination build. It's it's been a lot of fun. Circle around up here. Yeah, these uh, NCPD missions will bring you to like every nook and cranny of the city. Um, like I said, I, my first playthrough of this game, I completely didn't pay them any mind whatsoever. Oh. 
Ooh, some netrunner overheated me. Now, I did put a suppressor on this, which absolutely shreds the damage that it does. Shred. It's very messy compared to how I usually do things. Well, with the sand devastine though, because uh, with the sand devastine, because it shoots so fast. The goal of this NCP this mission was to actually just kill everybody here, secure the location. Robot's not as susceptible to the thermal damage. Reduce. All right, nice. So it feels pretty good. I would like to see what its stealth damage is like if I were to try to shoot somebody from stealth with it. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to get a single headshot with it, but. All right, let's go around loot. This area up. Like I said, it wasn't the cleanest thing uh, I've ever done, but it worked. You know what I mean? We didn't take a crazy amount of damage. I didn't almost die. And I guarantee if I were to take the suppressor off this thing, it would it would hit, you know, almost 25% 20, harder than it does right now. So right, that's good. Okay, so that was all the NCP missions in this area. I've been okay. So yeah, we got a nice chunk of them right here that we could hit, and two up here. But we're gonna go to the docks here. And we'll hit these two.
Yeah, I thought about going assault rifles. Um, just because assault rifles do more baseline damage. So that that's what I'm going to try to figure out is whether I want to use an assault rifle or a submachine gun. Like I said, the rate of fire on the submachine gun is quite fun. Um, and, you, you know, I don't... I already got my super... That, that's so weird when that happens. I already have my, you know, single shot... Um, like stealth kill damage with a range, which is my revolver. So I don't need the gun to fill that role. I just need to, you know, when I'm in the shit, I can I can shoot it out with the enemy. All right, where's that fast shovel point? It's right down here. So I am gonna be in the market for a better suppressor. Which, yeah, I don't think this guy has any sale at the moment. Grass someone else. And like I said, at some point during this playthrough, uh, not not right now, guys. We are gonna test out the. Um, the Netrunner build. A lot of you guys are saying, you know, how cool. And after watching Edge Runners, I'm like, yo, I kind of, I kind of want to play around with a Netrunner a little bit. hit this drop point real quick. Drop all the guns that I currently have. Now, these are all smart guns. I'm not specced out for smart guns whatsoever. Tech revolver. Hmm, that's actually better than the one I have. Nothing comes close to replacing my booty shorts. Plus than carrying capacity. So the pants actually look pretty cool. That's all junk. <clears throat> so now we're going to test out this, this ranged stealth potential. Barely anything. Dongs with nowhere to turn. Heard of this? I can't even one-shot her. Hmm. These must be some higher-level enemies or something. I've been able to one-shot almost everybody. Like that guy, I can. get gotten interesting.
There was a couple guys here that I couldn't one shot. Okay, you're never gonna believe this. The train we went to check out. Well, check this out. There's stuff full of runner gear inside. Maybe the voodoos. So they're trying to pawn all the runner gear off on the voodoos. Okay, so uh, now what happens is because I finished that NCPD mission there, it should give me an NCPD mission um, to finish that up, like to actually go find the gear at the train, but I don't know. Let's see if that that's maybe it. said I just like doing these for grinding honestly guys it's just fast easy money not only do you get a little bit of money for completing each one but um, all the enemies that you loot you can easily five ten thousand uh, eddies just for the guns and shit that you get I don't think this is the place. Scabs. I think it might just be the two at the table there. This was the runner gear. Yep. I think this is what they were talking about. Yeah, this is all that runner gear stuff. Got a new knife. Guns. 
sunk those wheels, but I do know one thing. Um, if the merch isn't here tomorrow morning, the full bondra. Be shitting lead. Well. Oh, this might be a different spot. I mean, there's some Netrunner stuff set up here. I don't know if they were... Doing anything with it, but all right, we'll clear that out. There's another one right around the corner here. I think this is. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, okay. They the the van got sunk, so we got to go find it. See. Van runs like a dream. You sit in a press a button, she goes. Press another, she parks. Can do a whole job without leaving home. Alright, that was easy enough. Out of all the time we played Cyberpunk, I, I gotta say that's the only bug I've ever seen. Consistently. Is that flash of light? Maelstrom. Looks like they killed a bunch of cops here. There's only three of them. From what I can see, at least. Oh, here we go, fourth. Now with five of them.
able to clean them up pretty nice, pretty easy. Yeah, as long as you're dropping body stealth out of the line of sight of other enemies, generally you're okay. We got a report of a suspicious van. Taped up windows and no plates. Drone images show people inside. Could have something to do with the guy's case with your guy's case, but you gotta act fast. Understood. We're on our way. Thanks, Reggie. I knew you could count on you. Uh, it's an honor to serve alongside boys like damn. Thanks, Chief. And then dude didn't even make it. So they set up suspicious van with taped up windows. here Pop showed up and got slaughtered We'll swing by this drop point, drop, and then we'll head over to uh, this loop of missions here. Yeah, it's the only issue I'm having is, is trying to figure out how to implement that third weapon into my play style, but. The SMG just does so little damage in comparison to my blades. It's like, in all situations, I'd rather just use my Mantis blades. Shoddy. Actually, got a nice look to it. This pistol here. And some pretty decent damage, too. As you guys can see, we're just making time. I'm already back up to almost 270,000 eddies. Um, and I was down to 180-something uh, last episode. Uh, so that's what I was saying. If you guys want a way to like just kind of make some quick money, obviously there's probably faster ways. Uh, but um, this is what I found that works for me pretty well. Um, and it's fun, you know, I get to go around and just kind of mess around, play around with my build, explore the map. Because uh, like I said, these little NCPD missions will definitely bring you to all little nooks and crannies. Now, obviously, like the gigs, like the actual gigs are really good, but those are like real, those have like good stories tied to them. So that's why I'm saving those for like mainstream. Um... But yeah, don't sleep on the NCPD missions. It definitely gets you going all around the map.
Might buy that new apartment too. Got a lot of stuff I want to buy. Tiger Claws. So we're going to neutralize any ongoing threats, secure evidence. I got a drone here. Not a whole lot of guys here. They do got the drone. Which I actually cannot one shot. that drone to get out of their line of sight. I think that's everybody. Send us a decryption key, put up the antennas, quiet. I'll have them transmit directly to me, standard frequency, and ping me if anything goes wrong. Damn, and we just got a level, baby! And we just got a level. So that's actually going to get us up to... Um, allow me to get my body level 12, which I needed for my... Uh, Cyberware. So let's go ahead and get that 12. I'm actually going to pull these out of here for right now. Yeah, I was trying to find any of these skills that would actually matter. But I feel like I got all the ones that actually matter. And then the same thing with like my blades. Right now, I'm just having a hard time even spending all my points until I figure out that other end of my build that I want. 
So I had some stuff going into cold blood a little bit, but... damage taken. I know a lot of people um, really enjoy Cloud Blood. It seems like a very popular pick among a lot of people. Some people go as far as to say Cold Blood is OP. OP! Okay, so this is the antenna right here. So this is what I meant by some of these NCPD missions. Like, you start with one and then it keeps progressing. So, here, reported crime. One thing led to another. Now we got to find those antennas that uh, were set up. Which looks like it might actually be up here. She had a really low bounty, so she couldn't have been all that impressive. They pumped her up though, that music definitely pumped her up like she was about to be something crazy. Insert the dirty splitter in a slot beneath the panel, right? Except this one slot beneath the panel. There's no slot. Alright, there we go. Why are they always start in trouble, dude? So fast, man. That's the thing about this build, when you go when you do go ham with the mantis blades, what well, even outside of Sandy, you still gotta be super, super fast. Or these gonks. Tiger claws.
<clears throat> Tigers won't be showing their claws no more bullshit. They killed the shit out of you, dude. I care of that biz. Pay them a visit with my boys. So, he went with his boys, took out about 30 tiger claws, and as you can see, yeah, that didn't go, that didn't roll, or play out too well for him. He ended up dead in an alley. Uh, you know what? Let's sell real quick. We're here at a drop box. We'll sell. Before our inventory gets full. That was the thing. I was running so many of these, I'd, I'd get like two or three down, and um, inventory would be completely full. I wonder what's in here. Bunch of common guns. Yeah, most of the gear you get, um, the other one's better. Uh, the most, most of the stuff you're going to get, you're going to be able to sell. Uh, I still give it a look through just in case, but so many weapon attachments, man. The thing about weapon attachments is they don't weigh anything, but I don't know if there's like a limited uh, amount that you can hold. Oh, look at this right here. So mono wire battery medium capacity. Plus 25 charge. Increase the charge damage by 25%. I don't use charge stuff, so it's kind of irrelevant to me. Um, actually. Need a ripper dock. Let's go do this. Uh, yeah, we'll do it afterwards. I was gonna say, and I wanted to go hit the Ripper Dock to get my. Uh... Oh, you know what? Never mind. We could. Yeah, we could fast travel right to this Ripper Dock here from from right here. Um, I can get that that new piece installed. Reduces all of my cyberware cooldowns by ten percent. So that means I'll be able to use my sand devastine a little bit faster. I'll be able to use my cloak a little bit faster. It's not a huge upgrade, but it's still better than nothing. And you over there picking your nose, dude? Getting after it, dude. I'm. Hey. Do what you gotta do. See right here. So reduce all cyberware cooldowns by 10%. Um, instant restore 3% of your health. After you discharge it, no, it's for charge weapons. Instant restore 30 stamina when you defeat an enemy. That's not bad. Which one do I have here? Increase stamina regen by 10%. See, this is the one I want, guys, but you need body 15, and I'm not, I just won't be able to afford putting that many points into body 15. <sighs> And then this one, body 18, instantly restores 50% stamina when you defeat an enemy. That's, I don't generally have too many stamina issues, but it is still pretty cool. So thinking about getting this, instantly restore health to 50% when your health drops below 15%. It's like an emergency uh, deal, you know what I mean? Even though I'll never really use it. Increase health regen outside of combat by two. Uh, I'll just keep these uh, lungs here. Increase stamina regen by 10%. There's nothing there we want. 
a lot of this stuff here in the nervous system actually uh, conflicts with the San Devastin. So I had one that when I got spotted, it would it would put me in slow mo for like a few seconds, but then I couldn't activate my Sandy until this was off cooldown. So it was like it wasn't worth having. That just increases our health by 20% right there, guys. I was thinking about getting that. Yeah, you know what? Let's get that. Increase our... It's the... Uh, some kind of uh, signal optimizer. Increase our health by 20 That's pretty big. It's pretty big. I'm just going to get the arms good, and then our legs are good. I mean, we're getting there, guys. We're almost pretty ma maxed out for what I could do with my build. A lot of the frontal cortex stuff requires high intel. This is more of, like, netrunners and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably end up build buying some of this stuff when we do our netrunner build. But as of right now, we're, we're getting pretty maxed out. Defeat an enemy, fully restore stamina. That's huge. Those are mono wire upgrades. That's for Berserk. Yeah, so nothing we want. Yeah, so our cyber we're we're pretty much cybered out, guys. We're barely even human anymore. I mean, the cooldown of my sand Devastan is already pretty pretty low. I want to see how low it is now because I have a, a heat sink or something on it currently. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, this right here that reduces the cooldown by three seconds. And now I have that other piece that reduces it by an additional 10%. So um, we're only having maybe like an eight, nine second or so. Let's test it right now, actually. I'm going to slice these dudes up. Oh, that I hate when that happens. Cause it... it's only time. Oh. Oh, shit. Hurts so fucking bad. Yeah. Quit and keep shooting. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to how the cooldown. Yeah, about nine, ten seconds. It's pretty fast. Uh, that is one thing, though, is when you get that mono blade uh, kill, or the the kill where you like stab them up near with a sandy active, it it pulls you out of the sand devastine, um, which kind of sucks. But as you guys can see, even when that does happen, it's not the end of the world because it's so fast. Even without the Sand Devastine, we can still move quite insanely fast.
leading like a burst pipe. We follow the trail. We'll follow the trail in Nova straight. Okay, so I think that blood trail that was here is part of the mission. We gotta follow the blood trail. Zeroed him. Got two pounds of lead in my gut. That's what's up. Someone could uh, set us a trap. Gina, pick up my all gone. Made it out. I'm in a sewer. But if you don't get it out soon, they're going to mark me or I bleed out. Well, they didn't get to him in time, obviously. And you can tell that he definitely didn't bleed out. They, uh, they took care of business. Gotta get across on this other side. Screw all that, man. Why the hell would I want to go all that way up there? Might be able to jump down from here. There we go. Yeah, I got that perk that allows me to heal every time I kill somebody, so it's just like... It's hard for them to even do damage to me. I gotta find a way, because I'm losing my sand devastine every single time I use the mantis blades now.
Damn, did they kill all the people here? Looked like it was like maybe a, a place for like people who didn't have any homes. And they just came in here and cleared it out for whatever reason. Elimination. Latino, 510, brown, brown. Elimination of witnesses. Damn, so Arasaka was sent in to eliminate witnesses. Like, that's weird that Arasaka would come here and kill innocent people, but now we understand. Baseball bat. Elizabeth Ramirez, I hear you're a media, real one that writes. Send you the coordinates soon. Damn, I want to know exactly why they were sent here, though. cleaned house. Not again. This looks interesting. Maelstrom. Meets all set up. Gonks don't suspect a thing. Yeah, you ask them, uh, they just struck a deal of century. Beat them all. Beat them, led all of them. Just watch it. Don't hit the wheels. Let me know when you're done. Can't trust nobody in Night City, remember?
he just try to run away? Are these the wheels? That they were trying to steal? Yeah, so they thought they had a buyer willing to pay cash, lump sum, no questions asked. Norton will get your cars, you'll fix them up, taking them to the appointed spot. Everything goes smooth as the baby's bottom, as you can see, it did not. For both parties, though. Wonder what cars they were trying to sell. Look at this thing, though. What the hell? Ooh. It's actually not a bad set of wheels, guys. This thing got some power, too, behind it. That's what the inside looks like. Quite nice. Well, let me grab this stuff over on the wall here. We're going for a test drive. Uh, with the new update coming this fall, um, I heard something about uh, weaponized vehicles. Just weaponizing them or like a little bit of vehicle customization, we'll have to see. Civvy. Got three targets that I can see. Now, glitter, I believe, is the drug. It's a drug. cylinders of nitrous oxide to be stored in a warehouse, but caution um, deterioration has increased fire risk, or fire risk.
Okay, so we've cleared almost every NCPD mission I've seen up here, at least. In this top area. We've got one down here. One right there. One right... Okay, we've got a few over in this area, but... Yeah, for this first top section of the map, completely cleared out. We're sitting at about 276,000. So let me get over to a fast travel point. Get over to a drop point. Empty out, empty out, and then uh, see where we stand financially. I was thinking about uh, purchasing the apartment. Oh, that's probably a marker drop point, right? Damn, that tech revolver does some mega damage. What the hell? These can't be suppressed, though. That's the only downside to them. But do they hit hard? Holy shit. I wonder how they work with a San Devastan if it's fast. Check it out. Smart sniper rifle. I'm holding on to that tech revolver real quick just to mess around with it. I'm pretty sure those all can be like charged. Sell out my junk too. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there money wise up to two hundred ninety two thousand dollars right now. So I was thinking about, I think it was the, the good, big, big apartment was down here. This, the Corporal Plaza apartment, $55,000, which obviously we, we have. Let me see. Trying to see how many there are for rent. Okay, so there's what four? That one's five thousand. That one's fifteen thousand. That's fifty-five thousand and forty thousand. So I think I'm gonna go for the big fifty-five.
moving on up in the world now, guys. Uh, my first time playing through this game, I didn't even know there was you could buy apartments. So I just lived in that starter apartment the whole time. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably did the same thing, because I know people in chat uh, last stream were saying that they didn't even know that you could buy uh, houses. Man, look at that car. I got a Quadra Avenger for sale. That's mine. That's mine. Sorry, guys. It is what it is. I'll grind out some more missions. Wait, is that the car right there? Yo, I think this is the car right here. It is. That's mine, dude. Let's get our apartment real quick. Damn, look at the entrance, guys. We, we're definitely stepping on up in the world. Area rounds nice, peaceful. Hear that? No gunfire. we go quality construction classic style zero compromises your ideal home awaits you in the heart of night city Look at our, so we got a TV, got a nice little dining area here. Got a nice view for sure. Could brew our own coffee. Wow, that actually gave me some kind of buff for an hour. That's pretty sick. Got a nice bed. Oh, is this our new gun room? Yeah, shit looks clean. 
our armory. It's our closet. Nice bathroom. Oh, that gave us a buff too. Oh, I forgot you can change your appearances and stuff in the mirrors. Alright, so now we gotta get that car, guys. What's our money looking like? Oh yeah, we're still still more than good. I know you guys seen it, it was clean looking. Is it 4 a.m.? Well, this is the car here, guys. It's the car I wanted, but just kitted out. Mine. Okay. We got money. Thing looks insane. Did you see the inside of this? is actually sick. Love it, guys. All right, let me go over. See, we had some. Uh, yeah, we had a couple missions that needed to be cleaned up up this way.
I don't think I bought a single car in my last playthrough. I got that free Delamain taxi for that mission, and I drove that until I got that um, supercar. Yeah, I never, like, did any of this. But I love this car, man. This shit is so sick. Oops, my bad. If you guys look, too, you know, I, I, I did drop a decent bit of money. We're down to 162000 All right, so that's the apartment and a brand new car. And you'll see how fast... I get it right back. We'll be back up to almost 300k. Animals. I got a tiger claw. Oh, actually, I want to test out that tech revolver, too. Forgot we were supposed to do that. Got this one 560. Or 540. Uh, to 660. And this one is... Yeah, so this one's better. Tiger Claw actually had a pretty good bounty. And 380. Ah! Obviously, that was loud. You all got to teach her a lesson. She's a tiger dealer, a good girl, leave her alone. Damn. Well, I zeroed her. I zeroed her. All right, so my goal here is to test out this tech revolver too. I want to see how it works under a sand sign. It does tons of damage. Targets four, three, 
It's not four. It's really, really slow to shoot. Tons of damage, but really slow to shoot. I think my other revolver's uh, just as good, not better, because it, it shoots faster. guys think about the car let me know in the comments or you know because you guys should be watching this in chat right now on the premiere uh, what do you guys think about the car I think it looks fire I mean it might not be everybody's cup of tea but I think it freaking looks dope as shit like that shit looks awesome guys Yeah, I'm taking a picture. It's going to be the thumbnail, guys. I kind of wanted to do like a little bit of a side. Yeah. There we go. There we go. My little cyberpunk sticky. There it is, guys. There it is. Move this down. There's the thumbnail. You guys watch me make it right here and now. Hmm? Oh, this is a new NCP. It literally just popped up right here. Oh, shit. So we're going we're gonna to test this gun under Sen Devastin compared to the other one. Yeah, this just shoots, shoots so much faster. There's freaking Arasaka goonies out here just... Executing people. Jalapeno Joe. <laughs> Ain't seen you in a month. Yeah, I'm so moved to North Oak.
Then we got an implant here and there. You put one foot here and you'll be getting lead to the back of your head. What? A couple gonks already tried it. Wasn't happy ending for them. This is my turf now. Oh, shit. Yo, Jalapeno Joe's not playing around. User Kadeem Brown has blocked you. So was this Joe right here? F flops and socks, man? Let's uh, hit this drop point. love how patient the AI is in this game compared to like GTA and shit when you block the road. AI spazzes out. Night City, they'll just wait. It's a nice freaking area, holy crap. On the outskirts of the city, what... I don't think they're going to let me in here, just... Hello, Night City! Due to non-payment of rent and related fees, Night City has terminated its lease. Okay. With Impala Automatics for industrial property owned to the city. Okay, so they've no longer been playing rent here. And uh, we're about to give them their eviction notice. Now, one thing is, I don't think I can one-shot. Oh, I can. Nice. Camera's down. So this is what I was saying about the NCPD missions. Like, you know, th this brought me into a pretty cool area I've never been to before. Come out, come out! We got them! Knocking the cameras. He's out of range. So this is where I would like to have a sniper rifle. You know I mean, just to kind of peck, pick off guys like that. For when I want to use my build like this. Instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect. 
Damn, I mean, these dudes didn't want to pay their rent. They didn't have to, man. They got a whole fucking army in here. <laughs> you are instructed to reveal yourself. I didn't expect this area to be this big. Or this full of guys. It's probably the biggest MP NCPD mission area I've ever been to. Sandy, they can't even keep up, man. There can't be too many guys left. I don't know where he is. Sounds like he's in this building. Careful! He's in here somewhere. There he is. Their garage is open back here. Some somebody here? <laughs> Did not expect that. Did not expect that. Let's use some EMPs on that.
Did not expect that at all. Someone attempted to hack our servers today. We're looking for a data project. Please exercise the utmost caution. I've already put the request to double your security and inform all region offices and units. Why would these dudes pay their bills, though? Because now they just brought attention to themselves. They had a huge operation going. That was like an Arasaka bot. Air has been cleared out, though. We're good. Yeah, we haven't had a fight so anything like that yet, but the EMPs definitely came in clutch. Reinforcements? Hmm. Yeah, I like that area though. That was pretty dope. Soccer or Militech? Air Soccer. Four enemies. Oh, he's got a sand devastating too. So that's the one thing you gotta watch out for when you use a sand devastating and, some, and the other person has one too. Um, they can, they move pretty quick even while while you're in slow mo. So this was Diana status red high, so she was uh, target. For air soccer, for whatever reason. Get out of here, brother. I'm 
grab this taro really quick. Wolves only howl at night. Huh. Alright, there was a fast travel right over here somewhere. Up there. able to get a decent bit done too uh just in this little bit of time i wanted to hit a drop point This one doesn't have a whole lot of money left. This one's actually a bit better than the one I have equipped. We gotta see what the overall DPS is like when I throw the suppressor on it, but... There we go, so that... Drop points empty. This one's max. Get rid of all this. Well, that actually looks pretty cool. As you guys can see, we're already back up to almost 200,000. Almost a thousand eddies just off our junk. Good stuff. There we go up to 193,000. Gotta love it. But no, guys, yeah, I've been I've been really really enjoying this build a lot. Like I said, uh, there's ways that you can make it even more overpowered, but uh, I didn't want to make it too like. There's a way to make the Sand Devon side so where you can just pretty much use it like nonstop. It's a pretty clean card too. Um, but I don't I like I don't like to rely just on like that one because after a while. Look at that, like, yeah, I'll be OP. It'll be fun for a little bit, but then it just gets boring. 
Um, and that's what, that's kind of how anything that's OP for me personally. It's just like, yeah, it's fun at first, and like, but it just gets boring. So that's why with my current setup, uh, I have multiple different ways I can play. You know, like I said, I got my, my revolver, I, my gun I'll game that I can play there. Time. I have... Um, I got the knife, you know, that we could do the throwing with the knife. I got the, uh, you know, there's just, there's tons of things that we can do, um, with this build, you know, hopping into the mantis blades. And then once I get my sniper rifle going and I, I like that because I'm not just stuck doing one thing over and over again, just being super, super OP. And then, you know, I do, I, I could act my, my Sandy. I can go ham if I want. And, uh. I just I just been enjoying it a lot a lot. Well, compared to the first time I played this, I had got a super overpowered sniper rifle, and I just sniped the whole game. That's all I did was just pew, 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 headshots after headshots. Um, but yeah, there's so much in in this game um, that you know I didn't even take into consideration before, especially like the cyberware. Like our whole body's pretty much kitted out now. Um, our health regen is insane, as you guys can see. I might even try uh, up in the difficulty next episode just to see how it feels. But we'll go from there, guys. We'll go from there. But uh, thank you. Uh, I, I do appreciate you guys. Like I said, I'm on vacation right now. I'm probably in the chat talking to you guys uh, as this is happening. But I, did, I wanted, you know, something to release while I was on vacation to keep you guys interested. So I'll actually be doing a, an episode of this right when I get back. So I'll get back Wednesday, probably Thursday. We'll be playing this and um, what you would call it? Uh, Sons of the Forest. But. I just wanted to give you guys a little something that you could watch while I was gone. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again for all the support. Everything you guys do, it really, really means a lot. And uh, yeah, if you haven't, hey, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'll do that, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.